an icon. That's how those closest to him described Jim Leahy today during his celebration of life, where friends, families, and fellow sportscasters bid him one final aloha. The guy, the guy was, is, was a legend. He pretty much taught me everything that I know. It was an afternoon filled with tears and laughter as hundreds filled St. Louis's Ching Center to pay their respects to Jim and his entire ohana. Uh, it's just been really overwhelmingly beautiful, the, the response from people, the outreach, people that have shared stories, that have shared aloha, that have talked about how my dad just, you know, in his little way gave them just a small piece of joy. This day, the true embodiment of what made Jim happy, bringing people together. He loved this place. He loved the people of Hawaii. Uh, this was home. And the people of Hawaii loved him. He was always so welcoming, so congenial, so um, educated about the sport. Yeah. Fans remembering the bonds he created on and off of the playing surface. And when I went to the volleyball games, I had to buy him his coffee. And when I was late, he would always say, look at his watch and say, you're late. Where's my coffee? <laughs> Many of Jim's family and former broadcast partners took the stage to share fond memories of the man they called Pops. You know, I could be up there for hours talking about our what we've done over the past 50 years, but uh, the only the, the, what comes to mind first is just what a pro the guy was. I think of Jim all the time when I call games with Kanoa um, because Kanoa brings in so many Jimisms into the broadcast uh, and it makes me very nostalgic. Jim Leahy leaves behind a legacy that will never be forgotten. Love you, Dad. I miss you. But I do know you're with us in spirit. And as you would say, Malama Pono Kekahi Kyle Chinen, Hawaii News Now.